bear with me, I'm trying to set up this camera so I can talk to you guys while I drive. This looks good. All right, so one of the things that's super important in your morning is having a dialed in morning routine. How you show up in the morning or so my camera totally just fell. I need to get a videographer. But what I was trying to say is it's so important how you show up in your life. Part of this requires you to be intentional and actually plan how you're gonna show up. I always plan my upcoming day the night before. And I always have a morning routine that's the same thing every single morning. Pretty much I get up, I pray to God, I read my daily affirmation, and then I hop in the shower, and it's a cold shower, so I'm pretty miserable for like however long I take that shower. Um, but the whole goal is me getting comfortable being uncomfortable. I don't check my phone before that. You don't want to poison your mind. That's what a lot of people do. I used to do that all the time and my days were just all over the place. But now they're very intentional and I want you to do the same. Beautiful Marina Del Rey. All right, I made it to my client's office. For the next couple hours, I'll be here, and then I'll head back to Marina Del Rey. Ricardo and I will work on a couple projects together, but I'll make sure to keep this video interesting. All right, and I'm now back at the house. What's up, man? We've got Ricardo, our head of peak performance. What What's are you doing right now? now? I'm eating right now my pre-workout meal. I'm about to go hit some back and biceps. So as of right now, Ricardo and I pretty much work out every day. How many meals do you think we get in a day, Ricardo? Seven. Probably like seven meals? Yeah. No way. Do you really? Yeah. Well, then I don't. You need Counting to- Counting the shakes, yeah. Okay, well, I need to get more meals in because I'm definitely not getting seven. My specific goal right now is to bulk up. I really want to just add as much mass as possible. I'm naturally fit, so I don't really have to worry about putting on too much fat. Ricardo keeps telling me, hey, if I eat so many carbs a day, I'm gonna end up getting kind of fat. I don't believe that's gonna be accurate. Pretty much every day between noon and in the afternoon, I go work out. Um, today I'm probably gonna have the weighted vest, 40 pound weighted vest that I'm gonna run with. I'll probably run maybe four miles. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do today. When I make it harder on myself when I'm running uh, with the vest on, that makes running without the vest a hell of a lot easier. Do not be mistaken, I do not like running. I also don't like running with this on, but it's a challenge. Oh, it's a challenge that allows me to have to push myself. Make things harder on yourself always. Never allow things to be easy. As soon as you start living a life of comfort, that's when everything just falls apart and your life goes to shit. <laughs> Run! Run, Ken, run! Excuse me, sir. You need some assistance with that vest? I'm tired of carrying all your weight, Rick. <laughs> Start carrying your weight. He's got to hold the vest down. Look at him. Like a girl holding her skirt. <laughs> Here we go. Don't get hit by the car. Happiness is not something that you are entitled to. It's something that you need to earn every single day. See, for so many years, I struggled with not being happy. And I always asked myself, why am I not happy? I always looked for other people to bring that true joy that I was looking for. And it wasn't until I looked at myself in the mirror and asked myself, do I actually deserve to be happy? See, I just got done running four miles with this 40 pound vest on. And just about a month ago, I was struggling to run two miles flat without a vest on. And just being able to compare where I am now to where I was before, that brings me a true smile because now I'm seeing progression and I feel like I earned that right to be happy. See, most people are waiting for other people to make them happy. And they're wondering, sitting around saying, hey, maybe tomorrow I'll be happy, or maybe something's gonna happen in my life. But it comes down to what it is you're doing every single day to actually earn that right for you to be happy. David Goggins has a quote saying, out of 100 men that go to war, 10 men are not supposed to be there. 80 men are just targets. Nine men do most of the work, and one man is a true warrior. I believe myself to be one of those nine men, and I am seeking to become that one man who is a true warrior. And even though I'm not there yet, just me knowing that I'm working towards that, and I have a mission, that brings me true happiness. Find out what it is that brings you true happiness, and work towards it. Go earn that happiness. Stick to the plan. What the hell is this? Where are you going, Rick? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to take my girlfriend out to dinner. Or oh, you can eat sushi. 
All right, bud. Well, enjoy your day. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna turn this lights off. So Rick's taking off right now, and Grandpa Ken is exhausted, so he's probably gonna go to bed. Grandpa Ken. <laughs> Grandpa Ken. Behave, bud. Ciao. Wow. <laughs> Later, right, dude. Man. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Let's chat tomorrow, okay? See you Sunday? Yeah. All right. If you wanna go to Santa Barbara on Sunday, we can. You wanna go camping? We can probably manage that, yeah. But I don't have any camping stuff. The whole point of camping is to go in the woods and learn how to survive. We don't well, need have camping, dude. maps that we can use to lay down on. No, dude, you sleep on a rock. You find a log, use it as a pillow. <laughs> I need to find myself a bed. Let me find myself a log and a rock. <laughs> You're better off sleeping on the grass. Later, bud. So it's literally 721 right now and I'm pretty exhausted. I get up really early and I try to go to bed at a decent time. Sometimes I go to bed at like 8 p.m., which is in like 40 minutes. Uh, one thing I want to show you real fast, Grout the Castle's Audit of Integrity Scorecard. So this is basically an assessment for how I showed up in every single day of my life. I have all my clients do this. This is basically an assessment of each of the four pillars of the Grout the Castle Doctrine, which is essentially us talking about fuel, state, connection, and business fuel of what you're putting in your body and how you're training it to keep it a powerhouse of energy so that way you can show up in every aspect of your life powerfully. State of your mental health, right? Making sure that you're clear on your mindset and perspective towards everything that's happening in your life. Connection with that loved one or your family or friends. And then business, the production of profit. And so before I go to bed every single night, I fill out this scorecard to basically assess how I showed up. On a scale of one to five, I rip myself. And then I add up the points and then I have the actual uh, number out of 20 and based on how I showed up I'll have that number and it shows me whether or not I need to have a massive shift or if I'm hitting peak performance so if you get a perfect 20 then obviously you're hitting peak performance if you're getting 16 out of 19 you're having steady progress 19 to 15 is massive need to shift and anything below that is your day was failed and so just me having this assessment every single day on each of those areas of my life that I want to improve you know, I write down the actual score of what I truly believe is what I, you know, performed at, and I have the reason why. So I actually write that down, and then at the end, I have the intention for tomorrow. Look, I'm all about intention with what it is you want to achieve and what you want to live your life as, right? And when you know, hey, this is what I want, and you actually assess how you showed up, well, now you have an idea of where you're actually at. Most people, when you ask them, hey, how was your day? They say, oh, it was good. And if you ask them why, oh, well, I mean, and they start thinking of why, and then they come up with some bullshit answer. Actually have a reason why you had a good day. Or, if you had a bad day, say that. But know what you did, or what happened that made it a bad day, they can then assess and then use the shift and have a good day moving forward. That is a simple way to start being intentional in your life. If you guys like, I'll make sure to have a link so that you can download this for yourself and start trying this out. Start assessing how you showed up every single day. Do it for like two weeks straight and then see how your life changes. I guarantee you'll see some bottlenecks and then you'll know what to improve and change moving forward. All right, I gotta get to bed. I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys next time.